Mr. I call Andrew Bailey. Oh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as you probably know, I've um, just returned from a little trip up north, uh, skiing around the North Pole. But it's an absolute pleasure to be back here in the House with all my wonderful colleagues and, of course, members of the opposition. And I thought, just before I talk a little bit on this bill, I just want to compliment the opposition because, contrary to all the uh, talk that we just heard, they actually support this bill. They support this bill and the good work that's gone into it. And it is a good bill, Mr Speaker. As, uh, as the Honourable Michael Woodhouse spoke, it's got three elements to it. One is around uh, finalising the withholding tax on, uh, for foreigners. Secondly, the GST on intangibles. But the third element is around student loans. And I thought I might just talk about this because in all the previous talks, no one's actually mentioned that aspect. So uh, the student loans, Mr Speaker, it's interesting, back in uh, September last year, there were about 725,000 students owing money to the government, of which 15% were offshore. And what this bill is about is about making sure that those people living offshore who have a student loan meet their commitments. And it's estimated there's about 3.2 billion owed by students living offshore. And what this bill is about is making sure that they do meet it. And what we've agreed is through the Australian Taxation Office that they can share the information around contact details with the New Zealand Tax Office and so that we can make sure that people are meeting the obligations. And this is another way of not actually increasing taxes, but actually making sure that the government receives the revenue it should and making sure that it can apply that money to meeting our social commitments and all the other good things around education, health, infrastructure that everyone wants to see take place in New Zealand. So, Mr Speaker, I think it's an excellent bill and I'm glad to support it and I thank the officials for all their help. Thank you very much.